name is Pascal Corbet and today I want to show you a little bit about video interviews and how to present in an online webinar without having to become completely media savvy but just to avoid a couple of the serious blunders that you can run into. There's one technical issue that tends to be forgotten by many presenters in webinars. It's the fact that they look onto their own PowerPoint presentation instead of in the camera. Imagine I would be looking like a picture of myself or of the co-moderators or the other people all the time like this here. Or even if it's slightly off and I look here, it's not the same as if I look into the camera. And this might be a bit confusing for you to, to consider this way. So you might always just want to have a quick look at your, uh, at your presentation and keep on going like this. Not a problem, but keep your eye contact. It's very important. It's not any different to any other things that you hear about but and on the internet, but it's very important, especially for the webinars where uh, contribution, contributions tend to get lengthy. And if there's, if you do a little bit of movement and gesture is also quite okay and gets a little bit of life into it. Especially if you consider that on the actual recording later on or also during the webinar, your um, your image just gets reduced to the side there and it's a little small and that's basically usually mostly what moves even if you show powerpoints animations on powerpoints usually can't be shown during webinars you take a lot of risk if if you try because it usually doesn't work so look in the camera now we come to the point of light light is obviously critical in in, in a certain way I don't want to go into all sorts of things because you don't have really in the in the office environment that sort of uh, possibilities to change things too much around. Now, natural light, like it comes in here, is, is sometimes a bit of a problem. As you can see now, the sun is coming out. It mixes with the other light. So that's going to be some trouble in, in some respect. But you don't have that possibility usually. You can you pull the shades and so forth to, to make a light better. But... I just want to stress one thing that shouldn't happen is that you have the light behind you. I know sometimes it's a bit difficult because you have you have your office there, your desk, your lawn and so forth. But see, that's what's going to happen. Imagine I sit here, somewhere here, and that you can't see me. I'm presenting something, and even though you're looking on the uh, PowerPoint, this is not gonna this is not gonna help. Now the camera. This is a good camera, so it does, does something about it, but it's usually a problem. So don't sit in front of the window. Okay.